hope you're all well. So today we're going to start making a journal and specifically the outside of the journal. I've been asked to make this on a few occasions. Now I'm going to be using the Cricut Craft Board today which is really quite thick and it's great to work with and it comes in the size of 12 by 12 but you can use a three card, you can use any card that you want and if you feel that it's not quite as sturdy as you like you can layer it and we're actually going to do that with the craft board today. We're going to use two layers to really reinforce the outside of our journal. So the first thing we need to do is make it. So I'm going to go and I'm going to grab a square and I'm going to make my square the size of my cutout. So my craft board is 12 by 12. But obviously I can cut, I think it's 11 and 3 quarters, but I always say 11 and a half. And I'm just going to press enter. And this will give me an idea of the area that I'm working with. I'm then going to grab another shape, this time a square. And I'm just going to change the colour of it to white. And I'm then going to change the size of it. So I'm going to unlock it. I want my width to be 5 and I want my height to be 8, which is just under the A5 size. And I'm then just going to duplicate it and then I can work out how big my spine is going to be. So I don't want my spine to be too big. I'm just going to grab a, another square and this time I'm just going to make it, I don't know, let's go for pink and let's unlock it. We want the height to be eight and I think I want the width to be, let's try 1.5 and see how that goes. And you're just going to play with the sizings that you've got. And if you're working with large pieces of card, so if, say for example you get an A3 piece, all you're going to do is you're going to put it on a 12 by 20 format and you're going to do it that way. So rather than doing it width ways, you'll work it out length ways and you'll be able to cut it out that way. So I'm happy that that's all going to fit in my craft board. So I'm just going to delete my back layer because I don't need that anymore. And I'm then going to line everything up. So I want my first rectangle to be at 1 and then one and I'm just going to press enter and then I want my spine it's going to sit at six and then one and I'm just going to press enter and actually looking at it I feel it's a little bit big so I'm just going to change the width of my spine to an inch I think that will work absolutely fine and then I'm going to position my second piece at seven and then again at one and I'm just going to press enter and that's going to work really well the next thing I need to do is grab a score line so I'm just going to get that up and I'm just going to elongate it and I'm then going to position it at six and then at let's do 0 0.8 and press enter and then I'm just going to duplicate that and I'm going to position it at 7 and then again at 0 0.8 and it's then going to sit on here. I then want to hide my score lines and I'm then going to come in and I'm going to weld all of these together so they're one continuous cut. If I then bring my score lines back I'm just going to grab my rectangle and arrange and move to back and then all I'm going to do is highlight them all and I'm just going to attach them. So it's going to cut out my rectangle and it's going to score my spine for me. Now at this point you really want to save this because you're going to need this template for your pages that you'll need for your journal. So you do want to make sure that you save this. Um, I'm not going to, I want to cut two of these out, I'm not going to duplicate it in here and I'm not going to duplicate it on my mat either. I'm literally just going to cut two pieces of craft board. So I'm then going to go to make it. And you can see it's telling us that we're going to score and cut. And again, we're going to go to continue. 
and you'll see it comes up in artboard we've got craft board there so i'm just going to click on that and go to done so you can see I've got my Cricut craft board here. Now this is the sampler pack. You get 30 pieces of craft board. You get 10 black, 10 natural and 10 white. And these are all in 12 by 12. So they fit your mat perfectly. Now these are really, really sturdy pieces of craft board. And actually you'd get away with just one layer. But I'm going to use two today because I want to show you that if you're going to use a thinner piece of card, you can layer them up to really reinforce your journal. So I'm going to use a green mat today and I'm just going to place my craft board on. And I'm then going to go in with my fabric brayer, which I use a lot now to adhere things to my mat, especially if I'm working with shiny surfaces. But actually, it's not just for fabric and it's not just for shiny things. I actually use it, as I say, all the time. And it has overtaken my scraper for adhering items to my mat. So I need to put my deep cut blade in, so I'm just going to open up my B clamp. I'm going to remove my rotary blade and I'm then just going to place my deep cut in. I also need to put my scoring tool in, so I'm going to open up my accessory clamp and I'm just going to gently push my scoring tool in until I hear it click and I can then close it up. And I just like to go in and very gently just push my score lines first. And I just use my finger underneath as a guide. Then I'm going to go in and I'm just going to completely fold it. And I can then really work that score line and I'm just going to keep pushing it with my fingers. We're then going to go in and do the second one. And again, just use your finger underneath as a nice guide. And you can then go in and do the other side. And you can see we've then got our journal shape. We can then place our second piece of card in and you can adhere it by using hot glue gun or glue. I'm going to use just Mod Podge today. place a heavy book on this and just leave it to dry for about 15 to 20 minutes. While we're waiting for our journal to dry we're going to create the outside cover. Now you can use whatever you like, you can just leave it as it is and put some vinyl or some HTV on there, you can use some shimmer paper, you can do whatever you want, faux suede, it's completely up to you. I'm going to cover it in fabric. So I've got my journal sizing here and I actually want to make it slightly bigger. So I'm going to duplicate it and with the duplicate I'm going to detach these pieces here. So I actually want to make it bigger because I want my fabric to overlap to the inside of my journal. I'm going to hide that anyway but you do want it to overlap. So I'm just going to unlock it. I'm going to make my width 12 inches and my height 9 inches and press enter and I'm then just going to bring this one I'm going to arrange and move to front and I'm then going to bring it in I'm going to highlight all and I'm going to align and I'm going to center them I'm then going to grab a shape I'm just going to get a square and I'm going to unlock my square and I want to make it as thin as I can just so it makes a line. I'm then going to duplicate it eight times. I'm then just going to bring them over and I'm going to place them 
where I want my cuts to be. So where I'm going to fold them over, I'm just going to place them all the way around this outside area. Once you've placed them all around your corners and where your spine is, we're then going to hide our other piece because we don't need them anymore. And we're also going to hide the score lines because we don't need those. Then we're going to hide all the lines except for one. And we're just going to come in and we're going to slice. We're then going to bring back one of the other lines and again we're going to come in and we're going to slice. And we're going to do that for all of those cut lines. So you'll see when we bring it back we've got all these small cut lines which is exactly what we want because it will allow us to then fold our fabric or whatever we're using over to the inside of the journal. We're then going to go to make it. And you'll see it's telling us that we need a 12 by 20 format, which is absolutely fine. So we're going to go to OK. So I've chosen my maker and my fabric I'm going to cut is cotton. So I'm going to put my rotary blade in. I'm going to go and cut my fabric out. So you can see that our fabric's now cut out and we've got all these cut lines which are really going to help us to be able to wrap it round the outside of our journal. So if we place our fabric on our journal you can see exactly how that's going to help us. So I'm going to work for the outside of the journal first and I've got some fabric Mod Podge here so I'm going to go in and I'm going to coat the spine to begin with. You can then turn it over and we're just going to dab some of our fabric glue onto our pieces of fabric and we're then just going to adhere them down and you are going to hide all of this, you won't be able to see this in a moment. We're just going to leave this to dry. So while we're waiting for our fabric to dry we're going to create the inside piece. I don't want to reduce it by a lot, but I just want to reduce it slightly. So I'm going to unlock my original rectangle. So this is the size of our actual journal, not our fabric. And I'm just going to reduce the width to 10.8 and our height to 8.3. So we're just reducing it slightly and we're going to press enter. And that's all we're going to do. And I'm going to use some Cricut Shimmer Paper. This is in the colour gold, which is from the Classic Sampler Pack. So we're going to go to Browse All Materials. We're going to come down to Paper. And you'll see there's a dedicated setting for Shimmer Paper. So we're just going to click on that. And we're then going to cut that out. And I'm just going to place it on a green mat. this under a heavy item and leave it to dry for about 10 minutes. 
So for the pages of my journal, you can make them the same size as your journal, you could make them the same size as your inside card, or you can make them smaller. I've decided to make them smaller, so I've made my width 10 inches and my height 7.5. And that's all you need to do. You can have them whatever size you want. I've chosen on that size so that you can actually see the gold paper behind my pages.